Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're talking a little bit about home automation or a smart home. How to make things in your house smarter rather than going and switching lights on and off the old fashioned way, rather than playing music through my phone connected to speakers, whatever it may be. We're gonna be talking about my setup at home, the equipment that I have got at home to help in my uh, smart home environment. Um, this is really, really basic stuff. Uh, I haven't spent a whole lot of money on uh, all the fancy stuff. There's a lot more equipment, there's a lot more gear that we can talk about, a lot more setups, but hopefully this gives you a bit of a summary, a bit of an overview, and gives you some ideas and tips on what you can set up at home. So first and foremost, you need to enable Alexa around your house, uh, which includes a number of these Echo Dots. So we've got a few Echo Dots as well as a standard Echo. Uh, the Echo Dots themselves, a couple are just going to be set up as normal around the house, really just for hearing the audio, uh, hearing me speak and play some music and respond to some commands. Well, a number of the other Echo Dots will actually connect speakers to the back of each of these Echo Dots, better quality speakers. Uh, spread around the house to allow you to have better quality uh, music out of these devices because the quality out of these is uh, is okay, but it's not excellent. Um, it's, it's very basic, so you can get a lot better quality. Um, if you want to get better quality from one of these, you can go to one of these, which is the standard Echo. Otherwise, you go to a different device altogether or you hook up speakers into the back of the unit. So really the back of the units themselves, I've got your power input as well as a uh, standard audio jack out, uh, the analog audio jack, which is just going to run uh, into some separate speakers. We've got these Wi-Fi power plugs. Uh, essentially, you just run a device into these, and then you can enable on and off features through your um, Echo devices, through Amazon Alexa, uh, around your entire house. So you can actually have power boards running into, into each of these, uh, but essentially, these are really helpful because you just turn things on and off. Sometimes you may want to power up a different light that you may have, you may want to power up a number of things in a room at once. You can actually set these with schedules as well to turn on and off at specific times and also turn them on and off by speaking. For example, if you've got a very large entertainment system with a number of different devices running into it, you can set these to turn off, say, at night when you go to sleep uh, or turn everything back on when you wake up in the morning so that overnight you're actually conserving some power, which can be helpful uh, on your energy bill. Here we've got some uh, Wi-Fi enabled lights. These are various brands different price points, but they all have the same sort of functionality. Uh, they're all colored lights. You can have multiple millions of colors, uh, enable them, talk to them uh, over your uh, you know, your Amazon Echo devices on and off, sets different colors, different brightness levels. You can also schedule these through the Amazon Alexa app, which is actually really helpful. Various speakers. So these speakers, of course, run into the back of your uh, Echo devices to give you better quality. Um, they're you know, desktop speakers. You've got speakers with the subwoofers on the back. Uh, so these are, for example, iRhythms, uh, and then some more 4.1 type of speakers, which I can sort of scatter around a room, for example. So these really just give you better quality as opposed to running your audio straight out of your Echo devices. So in the master bedroom, I've got one of these really fancy lights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up one of those Wi-Fi power plugs. So standard floor light. Okay, we're gonna run one of these Wi-Fi lights into it. So running it into the top, screw it in, power it on, and then I'll add that one into the network so then I can power this light on and off. So one of the Echo devices in the lounge room. Uh, on the back, we're just gonna power that on and run that into the PowerPoint. So kids lights, got a simple Wi-Fi plug that is connected into the wall. This particular lamp is in a group called Kids. Alexa, turn the kids' lights off. Okay. The other kids' light, this particular one is an actual Wi-Fi globe, just so that we can adjust the brightness and the colors uh, we can change nice and easily. So I can just set that to red, make it go blue, green, etc. So I'm doing this from the actual Alexa app. What we like to do is have both of these lights in a kids' group. Uh, they're actually individually named, but we've also got these scheduled to go on at a particular time, to turn off at a particular time. Here another Amazon Echo Dot connected to some uh, separate speakers. Uh, and this has actually got a splitter, the speakers, so that it's running into the uh, Echo Dot itself and also running into a mounted television as my output source for my audio. Some outdoor waterproof lights, which are powered via 
my Alexa suite of products power on and off automatically at a particular time as well and then all running into a Wi-Fi plug which is all protected uh, from the elements. These are all obviously cabled under, underground and they're running into a power point which is powered by a Wi-Fi plug so I can turn my lights on and off. They're also scheduled to turn on and off automatically uh, at particular times. And then a couple more lights just there just shining onto one of our nice palm trees. Here we've got some Wi-Fi enabled LED strips. So we've got strips that all run behind my desk here. Uh, and we've got a second one that runs behind my screens. Uh, the one above my screens is actually uh, full Wi-Fi enabled, the actual device itself, the strip itself. While the one right here is a different model and that is running into a Wi-Fi plug. Alexa, turn the office lights on. Okay. Alexa, set the monitor lights to red. Okay. Alexa, turn the office lights off. So within the Amazon Alexa app, I've just got a number of different devices here, different schedules of groups. So I've got a kitchen group, a lounge room, master bedroom, office, outside, things like that. So that I can easily just talk to that particular group and tell it to do certain things. You can go and create these quite easily. So a breakdown of all of the Echo devices split across the house right there into different groups. Uh, all of the lights that we've got. Uh, the plugs, etc., etc. So the plugs obviously powering devices on and off. Something that's really helpful is the routines area. Uh, scheduled times here to turn the kids' lights on and off at particular times, turn the outside lights off and on at particular times. Uh, one that I find really helpful is, for example, saying um, I'm home so that it goes and does a number of things, including turning certain lights on uh, and ensuring that you know some particular song or music is playing. Uh, good morning. It'll tell me the morning news, it'll tell me the weather, and then it'll play some music. So there you have it. That is the setup that I've got. Uh, hopefully it's given you some ideas, some stuff that you can go ahead and set up yourself. Um, this is, again, really basic setup. There's nothing really fancy here going on. Uh, you can spend a lot more money. There's a lot more equipment, a lot more stuff that you can set up around your house to make it even smarter, such as electric blinds. You can turn your air conditioning, your heating on and off. But this really hopefully gave you just a rough overview and rough summary to help you um, get some ideas. But either way, that is it for now. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and like this video. As well as that, please subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, and click on that notification bell to be up to date as I release new videos. Uh, but that's it for now. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.